Hello guys, today we're going to take a look at the John Deere 990 baler again and what I'm going to try and do is we'll basically finish off the electronics. I cut this space for the Arduino in a previous video but what I think I'll do is mount the Arduino on a little bit of a perf board or a little bit of prototype board and add a couple of switches here, a few push buttons so that when you push the push button you can raise the rear of the um, baler and also allow the uh, internal servo here that stops the second bale falling out to open up so you can actually load the bale into the model so that's what I think I'll do today and hopefully we'll get all that done well the first thing I need to do is cut away some of this uh, detail on the plastic here so that I can get the, the little bit of uh, prototype board pretty much level in here so I'll try and do that now Well that worked out okay, we should be able to get our Arduino in there, put our, cut our little bit of puff board to uh, shape and get our switches mounted over here without too much trouble. We'll be able to uh, drill a hole in the plastic here and just screw this board in place on that. Okay, here's a little PCB to just kind of cut the shape. That should fit in there fine with the, uh, the kind of engine cover of the baler, just sitting over it, no problem. So, now what I need to do is start wiring things up. First the Arduino, and then we can start soldering in the uh, servos. I need to get these wires held in place here, so I'm going to try and use some uh, hot glue for a change. I haven't done that before. We'll let that dry and maybe maybe that'll hold our wires in place. We'd hope so. One more here. This one is would be alright anyway, but we'll since we're doing it with the others we'll do it with this too. Okay, so there's a spot on it. I don't normally use this hot glue stuff, it doesn't leave the tidiest of job. But for this case, I just kind of thought it would be a bit easier. Ok guys, the battery in the camera went dead there, but uh, unfortunately I had to keep going or we weren't going to get a video at all this week. So here's what I uh, managed to get done. Uh, I have a power switch, the Arduino mounted in there, and we have our two switches here. Coming out the front here is the cable that's going to go to the tractor, so you'll send your serial signals on this cable to the Arduino, which will control the different functions of the, of the baler. Uh, to load the thing, I have two switches here. 
Now, I have it loaded with bales, so I might as well just show you what will happen. Now, the tractor will control this, but I'll do it with the, the buttons just to give you an example. So, push one button, that opens the rear door here. Then, if you remember, we have a servo holding the second bale in place. So, we push the other button, and that um, bale rolls out. Now, I'll just show you inside, you can see there's that servo, that's the one that locks it. So the two buttons on the side of the baler are for loading the wrapper only, the, the tractor will dump them. If you want to load them, you push the bale up there, hit the button to close that one, and you put your second bale in, and hit the other button to close that down. And that's basically all there is to it. We have control of the pickup reel as well, but uh, obviously we don't need to set, or we don't need a button to adjust that because we don't need to set that up every time we load the wrapper so there's no button for that the tractor will just control that completely so if you imagine you drive into your field you drop your pickup reel drive around for a little bit then you uh, hit, the, hit the switch on your RC controller that tells the tractor to open the rear door so that drops your first bale then probably when you close the rear door using the tractor it will automatically release the second bale down to the door here. So I need to do a bit of programming for the tractor and to finish the code on this. And I also need to mount this battery. I'll mount the battery on the other side here. So there's a lot of space in under this other door. This one has closed down mostly. It hangs out a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of a gap. But I don't think it's too bad. When I update the code for this uh, baler, I'll also have to update the code for the controller because I haven't had a controller with these kind of functions before. So we need a button to raise and lower the pickup reel and a button to dump the bales. Because I'll have it in such a way that it opens the door, lets out the first bale, closes the rear door and then unlocks the inner servo. So this bale will fall down to here Then when you push it again, it just opens the door again and it, it shouldn't interfere. So should be able to do that with one button, whereas the setup here, the reason I have two buttons is because you need to hold the first bale up while you put the second bale in. You couldn't do that if you were trying to push it all up in once, it wouldn't just wouldn't work. So we need two buttons to load the bales onto the baler, but we should only need one to release them. It should be able to just automatically drop one bale after another. The two switches here are connected to pins 5 and 6, and they are set to be uh, internally pulled high. So the state of the pin is normally high when you push the button you pull the signal down to ground so zero volts and that triggers your switch so that's all i have time for this week if you like that uh, build make sure and hit the thumbs up and uh, share the video all that stuff uh, helps a lot if you have any comments or suggestions for this build uh, let me know in the comments or head over to the forum and let me know there and that's pretty much everything so thanks very much for watching mm -hmm.